Toll Cutler Swords have arrived at last. Get it right. Why get it wrong? Hi, it's Todd from Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here, and I'm at Kenwell Hall with four of my mates who are, well, models for something new that's coming up. So Todd's Workshop makes really accurate historical reproduction weaponry. I use that knowledge to create recreations for the Todd Cutler line, which are much cheaper, much more budget, much more affordable. Daggers, that's what you know me for, but swords are coming. Now the swords are like everything else that I do for Todd Cutler. I try to get the detailing right. I try to get every aspect of it from the sizes, the finish, the dimensions, the look, the feel, how they're worn, how they hang. Get it right. Why get it wrong? But for reasons that I can't quite understand, I love short swords. And so that is where Todd Cutler has started. I've gone for short swords. So first of all, we've got uh, the end of the 13th century into the 14th. We've got a lovely type 14 here, but like all of them, they come with a wood cord scabbard, covered in leather, period appropriate harnessing, buckles, and it hangs right and sits right. Now the sword itself, this particular one, type 14, lovely flare on it there, lovely point on it there. But what's important about all of these swords is that the grips and the handles feel right. They're the right kind of size, true to type. And that's what we're doing throughout. So thank you, Seb. And on to Sam again. So here we've got the 14th century. We've got a lovely clip point falchion. Same is true for all of the scabbards, all of the harnessing on all of the swords. I love it. I've always loved this shape. And we've got a particularly lovely pommel. I, oh, I love it. I just love designing these things and selling them to you. On to the 15th century, so Wars of the Roses era. So really from about 1450 onwards, a curious falchion but I love it. Such an elegant blade, so light, but also it's obviously very intriguing because we've got these two knuckle guards here. Very typically English and not for a long period, but sometimes you see them with a broken guard, sometimes it goes throughout. But again, just one of my absolute favorites. Thank you, Ant. And then on to Hob, of course, still wearing his hat. It's an in joke if you know this channel. And we've got a Messer here with a very typically German woven design on the hanger. And then the Messer itself, a nice nagel and a knuckle bow. So in a way, a German equivalent of a Falchion serves a very similar purpose, for, uh, used to fight in a similar kind of a way. All of these swords are available on Todd Cutler now. First batch has arrived. They're in different colors. I've just shown them in black here, but go to the site, go check them out. But while you're there, go and have a look at all the other historical daggers and stuff that I do, because if you're interested in this stuff, you're interested in my channel, you'll be interested in everything that we've got on Todd Cutler. So that's it, Toll Cutler Swords have arrived at last. Thank you very much to my models. Thank you very much to Kentwell Hall. Goodbye. <laughs>